shalom and good morning i am back with a quick word that the lord woke me up to this morning i have been up since three working on this praying doing everything that i've been called to with this on my own time so that i can give it to you and this is a right now word it is a word that is going to answer your prayers about vision and insight and instruction so let's get into it my first call to action with this i've never done this on this channel but this is what god had me doing so i just want to be obedient and deliver this to you once the spirit hits you as you're listening to this you could play this in the background whatever once the spirit hits you i need you to get up and clean your mirrors every mirror in your home clean the mirrors it's going to make sense as we go along as you're cleaning your mirror i want you to pray against disruption destruction and deception the d's okay pray against disruption destruction and deception and in that place you're going to pray for clarity right and clear vision i say this because sometimes I've heard about mirrors being used as like a form of witchcraft. Not even just that, but it's just an act of faith um, to like do something practical in the moment that represents the word. Um, I had a mentor who, when she was asking for every door to be closed, she would have us go and open and shut our doors, right? So like an act of faith, just like scripture talks about Faith without works is dead. James 2.26. Um, an article I was reading to prepare for this word talks about how deeds are the outer reflection of inner transformation. So deeds as in our works, what we're doing, cleaning the mirror, that is an act of an outer reflection. And it's a reflection. So there's the mirror coming in, right? Um of inner transformation so the transformation the transition everything we've been praying for cleaning your mirror is simply an act of faith and it says that they are the evidence of a heart that has been and is continually being transformed and renewed by god so when it hits you clean the mirrors um also pray that everything that you see is divine I pray, Lord, that everything we see in this season is divine. I pray that everywhere that we look, we see favor. Um, I pray against deception in our minds, paranoia in our minds um, about people being against us or our situations not being for us or not being in our favor. You have called us to be the head and not the tail. We are found in favor. We are created in favor and love. And I pray that we would see that everywhere we go. Everywhere we go, everywhere you've called us. God is giving us that territory and that's the other thing um in what i just read i talked about deeds so i also looked up the definition of deeds and i'm going to give that to you real quick and then i'm going to go into the word all right so the definition is an action that is performed intentionally or consciously so again doing this call to action it is intentional and you are conscious. The enemy tries to penetrate so much of our unconscious thinking and our subconscious mind that an unconscious meaning like when we're asleep. The deed is us being conscious. And it also is a legal document that is signed and delivered. So in this prayer, in this word, we are signing and delivering. We are extorting we are giving enemies and demons their notice of delivery that they do not have any rights in this territory and it also is oh it says a legal document signed and delivered especially one regarding the ownership of property or legal rights so again legal territory if you need help in getting your like breaking legal vows with satan it's a great book, Shadow Boxing. It walks you through that, walks you through deliverance, all of the good things. This is by Henry Malone. All right, so praying for our sight, right? And 
that we will not miss the movement of God in this season. We will not miss the movement of God in this season. You will not miss the movement of God in this season. You will not miss the movement of God in this season. I need you to just receive that. So I will not miss the movement of God in this season. Then God spoke to me and said, just like the woman who touched the hem of Jesus' garment as he brushed past her, and her blessings and healings came forth immediately because she was at the right place at the right time. So we will be, we are at the right place at the right time. Our eyes are open and our ears are open to receive divine spiritual insight, instruction, and power from you and healing, Lord. We will not miss the movement of God. Bless our spiritual eyes and ears to see and look for what is good. We will see what is favorable. We will see what is good. I repent for anything that we've seen or perceived in this season as not good that is from you, God. You are our provider. Our expectation is set on you and your provision. We have faith that you will show up in fullness and it will be clear, right? We're speaking about clarity, seeing things as they are and as they should be. We will not miss the movement of God. Jesus went on to give Luke 8, 40 through 8, 48. Now, when Jesus returned, a crowd welcomed him for they were all expecting him. Then a man named Jairus, a synagogue leader, came and fell at Jesus' feet, pleading with him to come to his house because his only daughter, a girl of about 12, was dying. As Jesus was on his way, the crowds almost crushed him, and a woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years, but no one could heal her. She came up behind him and touched the hem of his garment, and immediately her bleeding stopped. Who touched me, Jesus asked. When they all denied it, Peter said, Master, the people are crowding and pressing against you. Like, everybody's touching you, bro. Like, but Jesus said, Someone touched me. I know that power has gone out from me. Jesus. Then the woman, seeing that she could not go unnoticed, came, trembling, and fell at his feet. Jesus, I pray we would see that we cannot go unnoticed in your mighty name. Hallelujah. We would see that we cannot go unnoticed in your mighty name. In the presence of all the people, she told why she had touched him and how she had been instantly healed. This is a right now word. This is an instant healing. This is an instant snatching up of spirits or snatching spirits. Even if you come trembling, I pray that we would all end up at his feet. Even if you come trembling, I pray that we would still fall at his feet. Nothing will block us successfully. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. The weapons will form, but they will not prosper. Things will try to block us, but it will not prosper. The enemy's plans for our vision and hearing are failing now. I heard that as I was cleaning my mirrors, that the enemy's plans for our vision and our hearing are failing now. Yes, Lord, we will see people that are funding our businesses. We will see people that are paying off our debts. We will see situations that our debts are paid off. We will see good reports of health hello we will see the good instantly then jesus said to her daughter your faith has healed you go in peace so your faith to get up and clean your mirrors has healed you 
and you will go in peace and in clear vision and you will see that you cannot go unnoticed. That God sends his power for you. We will go in peace and healing. We are healed, Jesus. We are healed. Our finances are healed. Our business plans are healed. Our ministries are healed. Our relationships are healed. We will see glory. Things that we didn't see before. Things that we didn't think would happen. Second chances that we didn't think would happen. Miracles. Excuse me. We will see miracles. You can blow our mind, Lord. Things that you thought were over. Things that you felt like were over. Things that you felt like was never going to happen for you again. He did it once. He will do it again. And this time it will last. Because he is Nahum 19, 19ing all of our, our blessings. Let me read you that because that's one of my favorites. Why are you scheming against the Lord? He will destroy you with one blow. He won't need to strike twice. Anything that comes up against the Lord has to only be striked one time. He won't have to strike it again. He won't have to destroy it again. Because it's already done. Let's see if there's anything else. Yes, Lord, I pray for, I repent for the areas that we discounted you or made the vision cheaper. Yep. Jesus. That is the word I have for you. As y'all see, when God has given them to me, I am releasing them. I still got some in my bag. Um, but look forward to some words being released this week. I can tell you that. And go forth in power and peace. I pray that you have a beautiful day. I pray that the mirrors are clean. I pray that our faith will be expanded. I pray the armor of God over us, Jesus, the helmet of salvation. I pray that we'd be crowned with glory and crowned with your tender love and mercies. I pray the robe of righteousness, holiness, humility, and purity over us. I pray for the sword of the spirit, the shield of faith, the belt of truth, and the shoes of peace. I pray for the strength to praise and worship you, Lord. If they can praise and worship football loud on a Sunday, we can praise and worship you all throughout the week, regardless of fears of those around us, if we're in apartments. Um, let your glory ring through these buildings. Let your glory ring through these neighborhoods, Lord. I will see y'all later. Bye.